Hello friends, in my this video, I am going to discuss about the lab experiment of single tuned amplifier. Okay, in this video, I will show you basically the multi-sim simulation. See, this is basically the uh, circuit diagram of single tuned amplifier. Basically, this is nothing but one C amplifier with one tank circuit, LC tank circuit connected in the collector side. Okay, so if we take the output from the collector, then what happens due to the application of this LC tank circuit, it will uh, it will pass only one desired frequency, and that frequency is basically F is equal to one by two pi, one by two pi root over of LC. Okay, this frequency value only uh, it will pass in the output side okay at that frequency the gain will be very high for uh, this uh, configuration okay so as a result we can get uh, the uh, output at only that frequency and all other frequency components will be rejected by this circuit now let us see this by multisim see I have opened multisim and in my previous video I have already discussed from the basic that how to make amplitude modulation circuit by multisim. So I will use that circuit to make single tuned amplifier because see carefully this is basically one amplitude modulation circuit. What is the difference? Here in the emitter we apply message signal for amplitude modulation but here the message signal is not there. So just we will remove the message signal from the emitter and connect it uh, from the uh, connect RE with the ground then we can easily get the single tuned amplifier. So let us do that. So go to file then open I have already saved the amplitude modulation here open and see here it is amplitude modulation circuit see if you run this simulation see you can get modulated wave see the amplitude of the carrier is varying with the message signal okay so this thing i have already discussed now in this video what i told this is re or r2 is basically emitter resistor and this is message signal just click on it delete it and connect this emitter resistor directly to the ground and it becomes the single tuned amplifier so is it let us check so in this case of single tuned amplifier what we can expect see i will explain you in single tuned amplifier uh, it will amplify only a certain frequency means the gain at a particular frequency will be very high and gain at other frequency will, will be very small so in the y-axis if we plot gain and the x-axis if we plot frequency then what type of graph we can expect okay so here frequency is uh, in x-axis and in y-axis gain is there so the gain versus frequency graph should be like this okay at a particular frequency the gain should be very high and this frequency is basically f okay this is, this is the resonant frequency of this tank circuit that is f is equal to 1 by 2 pi root over lc and the bandwidth will be very small okay so that other frequency components uh, uh, get no chance to amplify as at this frequency okay so is this graph is applicable for this circuit let us check so we will now do the simulation see if we just to get the gain versus frequency graph what we have to connect we have to connect Bode plotter so see here Bode plotter is there take it connect it here connect the output channel with the output here we are taking the output and uh, other terminal negative terminal of the output to the ground and connect the input terminal of the Bode plotter to the input side obviously connect here and connect the negative of the in negative port of the input side to the ground so this becomes this will give us the Bode plot now if we run the simulation see what is the Bode plot see if we refer this it is easily visible see at particular frequency which frequency 
see at this frequency 4.339 kilohertz the uh, gain is maximum and why it is happening if you uh, consider the tank circuit then this is 10 nanofarad and this is 130 milli henry so let us check so if we uh, do some calculation so what result we can get so the capacitance value was c is equal to 10 nanofarad and the inductor value was basically 130 milli henry for our circuit milli henry now at what frequency the gain should be maximum f is equal to 1 by 2 pi root over of 130 into 10 to the power minus 3 into 10 into 10 to the power minus 9 at this frequency we should get the highest gain so let us solve this by calculator so 130 into 10 to the power minus 3 into 10 into 10 to the power minus 9 equal to 1.3 into 10 to the power minus 9 root of heart of 1.3 into 10 to the power minus 9 is 3.6 into 10 to the power minus 5 into 2 into 3.14 is equal to 2.26 into 10 to the power minus 4 1 divided by 2.26 into 10 to the power minus 4 will be 4416 okay so this frequency is basically 4416 hertz this is h okay so at this frequency we should get the maximum gain so is this applicable for our circuit so let us check see at 4.3 uh, okay See here at uh, this highest gain value is at 4.339 kilohertz and our uh, if you calculate this calculation that is f is equal to 1 by 2 pi root of lc we were getting 4.4 kilohertz so it is almost uh, close to that uh, calculated value so in this way single tuned amplifier amplifies basically a certain frequency okay this is this uh, single tuned amplifier has a very important application in the receiver okay uh, in communication system many frequencies uh, simultaneously reaches in the antenna but the antenna has to choose only a desired frequency so we tune this circuit this tank circuit in such a way that the gain at our desired frequency will be maximum and gain for other frequencies will be gain for other frequencies will be uh, so less that they will be suppressed or rejected so see gain at this frequency is maximum so we can get the frequency component uh, 4.3 kilohertz or 4.4 kilohertz at the output okay in this way single tuned uh, uh, tank circuit works in multi-sim okay this uh, may be your lab experiment in the analog electronic circuit subject so this is all for my this video so if you have uh, already done the amplitude modulation circuit then this is um, very simple to make in the multi-sim i will give the uh, link uh, of the amplitude modulation circuit how to make amplitude modulation circuit in the multi-sim from the basic in my uh, this video in the description i will give you the link you can check that video so you can get a clear idea how to make this configuration okay this is all for my this video thank you for watching and for more videos related to electronics and communication engineering please like share and comment and subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon thank you